Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. Today I want to take a look at Google Photos, but more specifically I want to look at the backup feature of Google Photos and how to make sure you don't have to worry about backing up your photos again and not worrying about having to pay more for if you run out of space because with Google Photos you can make it have the settings so it is free a free backup for unlimited storage here. I also want to show you how to connect this to your computer so if you have any photos and videos on that you can back that up to the cloud through Google Photos and access it on any device. So let's start here and taking a look at how to do this great backup for free on Google Photos. So the first thing before we start that you must have for this is a Gmail account because this is where our Google account, uh, this is where all your photos are going to be backed up, your photos and videos are going to be backed up to. So if you don't have one, you do need to create one uh, for this. So you can see right there, I do have my uh, Google Photos app here and I'm using an Android device. If you are on an iPhone, you can download the app and it's going to work virtually the same thing. If you look up the help, uh, they'll tell you the exactly same thing uh, for both of them, which makes it super easy to be able to make these tutorials like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on my photos here and it's going to open up and the photos that you see in here actually are ones from my computer and from um, and from my phone. So I have a, a backup uh, loader app, a Google Photos backup loader app on my computer and I have it set so that any of the pictures or photos I work with on my computer get backed up to my uh, cloud-based Google Photos also. So you see a combination of some of my thumbnails in here that are getting backed up. It's grabbing any of these images here, but I'll uh, show you that when I switch over to my browser a little bit more. Uh, so I just wanna go ahead and show you, uh, so I just clicked on the top left hand corner you can see the three horizontal lines up there I'm just gonna click up there and then you can see at the bottom uh, there's free up space there so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on free up space and uh, so right now it's telling me no items to remove from my device because all the images that you're about to see aren't on my device anymore they're actually in Google Photos cloud-based so I'm just gonna hit OK on that uh, so to set up the settings make sure you go up to the top where it says backup and sync and I'm just gonna click on that. Uh, I'm gonna turn it off first, so if it was defaulted to off, uh, when you turn it on, it's gonna ask you to switch uh, or ask what account do you want. I'm just gonna use my top one right up here. And you can see I have 10 gigs of 15 gigs left on this one. Uh, but uh, so I wanna show you how to set this up so you don't have to worry about this taking up any more of that room here. Uh, so I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit here in where it says upload size here. So under upload size, I'm gonna click on that and you can see there's high quality, uh, free unlimited storage, which is what I'm using, or the original 10 gig storage left. And this is one, if you were using this way, you would have to buy more, uh, more space if you ran out. So with the high quality uh, free unlimited, uh, what it's gonna do is, so if you have an image, it's 16 megapixels that it's gonna, that's the largest uh, before it would be uh, converted press so but most phones uh, most phones when you're taking pictures aren't going to be above this so there shouldn't be any problem problems with backing up your photos from your phone uh, to this because there wouldn't be any change if you're taking pictures with a DSLR and then you're putting it into this and you wanted to make sure you kept them originally to back them up at the original size then you might want to change your settings on this and think about buying uh, space but for my purposes and what I do uh, this the high quality works perfectly for sharing or some uh, smaller prints and everything too. So on video, if I have 1080p, that works fine. If I was videotaping in 4K, then that changes things and then it would be compressed to 1080p. So just make sure you know what quality you want to maintain. Uh, but for my case, high quality, uh, the free unlimited storage works great. And then it's, so all the photos are going to be taken off uh, off my device and then I can log on to any device with my account and check out these uh, photos here. So uh, yeah, just going down here, just a few other uh, settings. Uh, the way I have it set up, I don't have backups uh, on my cellular uh, data. So I have that switched off and I just have it backing up at night when I'm charging only too. So I know that's when it's gonna be backed up. If you ever wanna see, if you can see, if you wanna to check to see if you can free up any device storage, just go ahead and click. Uh, you can see the third one down right there. Click on it and it will scan to see if you have anything on your device to take it away. So in that case, I don't right here. So I'm just gonna go switch over to the web browser uh, view now here. Whoops, go the other way here. All right, so the first thing I just wanna show you here 
so this is inside Google Photos here. Uh, if you're logged into your Gmail account, remember, you just go across, uh, just go across and you, uh, to the app launcher and you can see Photos is one and this is the icon you're looking for. And when you click on it, of, of all your ones, if it's not there, just go to more and it would probably be there. I know I've uh, dragged, whoops, I just clicked on the wrong one. I, uh, I dragged mine up uh, to be in that front uh, spot there. So just if you want it up, remember you can drag these all around into different spots too. So if you're accessing it lots here. So these photos, as I showed you before, uh, are the same photos that were on my phone. If I just go back here, you can see same photos here. So I can tell that they're already all backed up uh, there. Uh, so the settings on this one, like I said, they're very similar here. So if I go over to here, you can see uh, the settings and the same thing, high quality, uh, it, all the different ones you can set up uh, through here uh, to help you maintain that free, uh, to get that free storage. When you put things into, so I'm just gonna click on photos and go back here. Uh, I'm just gonna minimize this a bit here and move it. So you can actually drag your photos right over too. So if I had this photo here on my desktop, I can drag it over and drop them in like this. So I could go through and uh, put my photos in just by drag and dropping. So that's easy enough. But uh, what you notice, it gives me, uh, it says next time, how about try the desktop uploader? And this is what I uh, wanna show you here too. So uh, if you, you could see it in a different place, if I clicked on these vertical lines, there's the app downloads here, which will bring me to this page right here. So what it does automatically for me and saves a lot of time is uh, just go ahead and hit the download. You can see this will be for Mac or Windows. Um, you can get your apps from here too, but just go ahead and hit the download. So no matter what uh, operating system you're, you're on, go ahead and install that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and open mine here. So um, I'm just gonna type a couple of thing here. Get, open my photos here, photos backup, that's what I want. And then so once it's uh, installed, all, all you're gonna do is log into this. So um, I'm gonna log into my account here, the one that I was using, if I can remember which one I was using. And hit next. And I'm gonna go to this one. And then now it's gonna be ask me, prompt me, choose my backup sources. So I'm on a Mac here. Do I want my Apple Photos library, desktop, pictures? Uh, so I, I can add more folders if I want. So I've left those ones. Uh, it grabs uh, pretty much all the different places I have my photos. And you can see here, I have that check. It, uh, it will go through and do this automatically. It will compress my files automatically here. So I'm just gonna leave it there and then I can start my backup. And there is an icon that starts uh, right up here. You can see now uh, there's the icon right up here when I'm open, I'll open it up here. I'll just hit OK. Uh, and then on this one, if I just go ahead and view my uploaded uh, photos, you can see backing up 18 new files. It's going through. I'll just get back here a couple spots. Uh, so I'm back in, uh, oh, I gotta switch accounts here real quickly. This is the thing with too many different ones open. And you can see that these are the photos that it's backing up uh, from. Oh, I'll go back here one more time. And these are the different photos that are getting backed up uh, through my devices or that were on my computer here. You can delete your photo. So if I was talking about, uh, let's say if I delete this photo here, I can click on it. You can see that there's the garbage can right up here. You can delete your photos. It, and this works the same thing on your phone. If you do hit the garbage can, it deletes it off all your devices. So it's deleting it from the cloud and everything. So if I said remove, and now if I was gonna go over to any of my other devices, so actually I'll show you on the next picture uh, here. So you can see, let's go, I'm just gonna switch back to my phone real quickly here. And you can see this image is here on the phone. If I go back and if I hit this and hit the garbage from my computer, I'll remove it. And then if I go back uh, to this, it's off now. So it'd be off all my devices, but you can still get this back too. And um, I'll just scroll back to this side here. If I go uh, hit the vertical line or the horizontal lines up here, <clears throat> excuse me, if I go to my trash now, you can see I can go back to here and just hit this here and this will restore this file back. 
uh, anything in here, if you do accidentally delete something, you have 60 days to put it back, uh, to go back and restore it, or else you can per empty the trash and get rid of uh, something permanently like this. So these are just a few options of uh, some store using your Google Photos with the App Launcher. I just want to go over to actually show you in Google Drive right now. If I go into Google Drive, you can see with the Google Photos right here, these are all the same photos that I have access again. So I could get through, use Google Photos uh, through the app. I can go to my Google uh, Drive to take a look. I can look on my app and everything's connected. So with these settings, it will easily uh, make it so to maintain up the storage off your devices so you can always access your photos, but uh, it won't take up the device here. So I hope you like this tip in backing up your stuff here today on using Google Photos. If you have please hit the like button or share it with a few people. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips uh, weekly. So if you're interested in this type of stuff, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.